Hello friends, Hollywood celeb dog dads have our hearts. Call the pop Arizil, these are the sweetest dog dads. So my hardest time, she's always there with me, you know. The beautiful part about dogs is that they're, they're like ultimate protectors. Damn, what a good dog, my God. What a lucky thing is you don't know, you don't know what you're gonna get. Anyone who's a dog owner knows that it's a bit of a gamble. I hit the lottery. There's something intrinsic about owning pets and loving animals. I, I really don't, I don't really trust people who don't like animals. I don't think that I will live my life without an animal, a dog or cat or whatever. I don't think I'll ever live without one. It's, it's really special, you know, the connection we have to our, our dogs and animals and pets. And um, it's kind of this unexplainable, inexplicable thing that um, I think is pretty profound. Ella is my little adventurer. All bark, no bite. She went from not wanting anything to do with anybody to kind of be in my shadow and my little lap dog sort of accidentally, which I did not see coming when I first got her. Well, on my TV show, Harry, we had the Sato Project on as a guest one day and they brought a bunch of puppies. Tuchel was among them and I fell in love with her. So they said, why don't you take her home and foster her? kind of winking at me because I didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to take her home and foster her. I was going to fall in love with her and keep her, which I did. It was very easy to convince Jill and my girls that we needed this little dog. So Tuca has brought a lot of love to us over the last three years. Thank you for watching.